I'm divorced. I thought I'd be happier, except the judge set the child support amount at $326 a month. $326 a month for two kids for child support is what he has to pay me. $326 a month because he's not working because he chooses not to. I was able to cross-examine him, which was fun. And I asked him how many hours a week he spends working or trying to sell houses because technically he still has a real estate license. So technically he's still a realtor. He said 15 hours a week approximately is how many hours he works per week. Grown man, grown able-bodied man with transportation and no childcare to worry about says he works 15 hours a week, which I think is kind of a high estimate. I'd put it more at like zero hours per week. So $326 a month for two kids. Fun, right? And this is after I was super gracious and let him keep his parenting time. The guardian ad litem recommended zero parenting time for dad. Now everybody knows I am anti hobo sexual. I would never recommend any women to date a lazy broke man. With that being said, a man doesn't just decide to be lazy overnight. So when you married him, you probably already knew that's who he was. Now you're upset because you went on Instagram, they told you 40 was the new 20 and you thought you still had it in you. You thought you didn't need a man, but now you're begging for that man's money. And telling a father you was being gracious by letting him see his kids is crazy. Do you know why a girl with no legs can't play soccer? It's because she's a girl. Hey man, say man. We got challenged by the little track team. To run a little 4 on 1. Football players versus track team. Yeah, yeah, got my boy yeah. Thinkay running the second leg. I'm running the first leg. CB running the third leg. Odo running the fourth leg. <laughs> Who we here with? Um, The Jamaicans. I'm Shelly and Fraser Price. Okay, what, so, what leg are you? Um, Y'all see me in the race. So do y'all think y'all gonna win? That's what I wanna know. Yeah. Do you think he's gonna win? Hello, I'm Veronica Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're going real fast today. We're gonna win. What's your name? I'm Shelly Ann Fraser. And I'm Shelly Ann Fraser. Fraser. That's my swing. I just want to drive their execution. So do y'all think y'all gonna win? Oh, oh yeah, Elaine Thompson. Hey, TC. I just wanna know. I'm just, I'm just here to shoot the gun, man. <laughs> Team America. TC, who you think gonna win, though? <laughs> my Team Jamaica. She don't even sound confident. She Damn. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay! Okay! Come on! 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 I am not running that far! Shout out to the women for giving it their best shot, but those ain't even skills players. They racing linebackers and linemen. And to give them more credit, they didn't do that bad. If it wasn't for the third leg on the football squad, they probably would have won. That third leg was wide open. You know, I'm very free. And and you know what I'm saying? It, you know, and I but I got I got modes, so it's balanced. I, I think the problem is that nudity is being demonized. This is considered the, the creme de la creme. That, those award shows ain't for the ratchets. It's not for the, the, the riffraff. It's the most beautiful and talented and richest people in the world in that segment so we're not around here like being canvases for the streets we're canvases amongst the elite right. so that's i mean it's not if you it's not it's not giving the same message so, it's my turn to talk i let you talk that for five minutes let me tell you something there ain't no way in hell i don't care if you a nudist or brutus or a buddhist god damn it you gonna walk out this house with your goddamn tippy titties and nipples out that i paid for because most likely i done put the guy i done paid for them titties i, I bought the goddamn outfit so there is no way in hell my woman is going to sit here and broadcast some that I have to pay top dollar for. Cause guess what? When you sleep at night, that bed, I pay for it. That house that we live in, I pay for it. That goddamn ass that's fat, the food that went in to make it fat, I pay for it. And you think that you about to give everybody a free goddamn view of a fashion? I say, go back to the pot man. Ain't no new to did you did I'm the only that get the new did you can be a nudist at the goddamn house in the bedroom. Some of these women to say anything to justify going out of the house naked. 
It's art. I'm just doing it for me. No, you're just doing it because you're desperate for attention. How does a non-binary samurai kill people? <laughs> they slash them. <laughs> get this straight. In the last few years, a biological male has been named Woman of the Year on several magazine covers. A biological male is referenced as a top-ranking female in our White House. A biological male was named the NCAA Woman's Swimmer of the Year. A biological male is making tens of thousands of dollars being the face of womanhood for Nike, for Tampax, for Bud Light, for Kate Spade, and countless other companies. A biological male took home the award for Best Actress at the Golden Globes. Are we really still trying to make the case that feminism supports women when the feminists are completely silent and or cheering on? Biological men taking over the space of women? Somebody spell this out for me. Ah, my the Muslim pickup. Sorry, the oh. candy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> A lot of you guys have been asking me. About Nobody's been asking you. <laughs> this shit still boggles my mind. If a girl wants a guy who's older, it's a preference. If a guy wants a girl who's younger, it's creepy and immature. If a girl doesn't want to date a short guy, it's a preference. If a guy doesn't want to date a girl that's overweight, he's an asshole who's not focused on the things that matter. If a girl wants a guy who can take charge, it's a preference. If a guy wants a girl who will submit to his lead, he's, you guessed it, misogynistic. If a girl sets a boundary, it's empowering. If a guy sets a boundary, it's controlling. Women have preferences, men have something wrong with them. This isn't a double standard, it's just illogical. So why does anyone accept that? And you wanna know the best part about all that? I don't give a damn. You can call me fat phobic, misogynist, bigot, narcissist, I don't care. I'm not holding nobody hostage, but if you wanna be in a relationship with me, there are standards. If I have standards for myself, I gotta have standards for the person I'm gonna be with. All right, ladies, if you're a stay-at-home mom and your backup plan in case of divorce is your ex-husband is going to pay alimony and child support, listen up. When I filed for divorce for my ex-husband, he was making over $200,000 a year. I kicked him out in October of 2018. He paid me nothing. So basically, you divorce your husband and try to kick him out of the house that he paid for for you and your kid. If you don't think you need a husband, stop begging for his money. She's making it seem like he doesn't want to pay child support because he doesn't want to take care of his kid. He probably doesn't want to pay the child support because he doesn't want to be extorted by his bitter ex-wife holding his kids hostage. 